Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a PrestaShop shop system on Amazon's AWS on a virtual machine uh, in less than five minutes. So let's get started. This is the overview of your or my instances in this case in Amazon AWS. And what we are about to do is launch a new instance and this is the new overview you can switch to the old one and we are going to search the catalog for presta shop because there are a lot of images um, with pre-configured presta shop setups yeah you can choose between uh, ubuntu or a debian type instance and we will go for a quite new um, version of PrestaShop 1.78. Um, there are also older versions, but I think uh, we will just go for the newest um, release in that case. All right, so we are going to um, select this machine and you want to give that machine a speaking name. So I will just call it PrestaShop. Um, EC2, so I know it's my PrestaShop system. Instant type, um, if you just want to play around or develop something, uh, a small instance micro should be fine. If you are planning on going productive, you should choose something bigger here. Um, then we will create a new key pair to uh, remotely log into our machine. So I will call this key PrestaShop. Um, server so I will know um, you know what key that is after saving the key file uh, .pm should be fine we will also use or we might also use this key file to um, transfer files uh, to that machine via SSH uh, in FileZilla if needed all right so we downloaded our key file store this in a secure place where you can find your key file the next thing we have to do is to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic to our machine, which basically just opens two ports, one port on uh, 80 and one port on 443 for HTTPS traffic. And the storage should be fine. 10 gigabytes should be enough in this case. All right. Um, the next thing you might want to do, you can change the name of your security group to something else than launch wizard eight, because that's not their speaking. And also, I don't know, maybe call it press the shop security group, or maybe web server security group. If you have several web servers running. All right. So that's about it. And now we can launch, launch our machine. This will take some time and as we can see, we are done um, and we can go back into our instance overview. All right, our machine is up and running right here. All checks passed and you might want to open um, your address. The first time you will do that, you might see an error because the certificate is self-signed so you will have to accept the security risk or you just accept, uh, access the machine not by HTTPS but um, regular HTTP um, which then should be no problem. The next thing you want to do is find out um, well your admin user of um, PrestaShop and you we will also need to find out the folder in which all the administrative scripts are installed into. To find out the user, you can just check out the system log from your first boot. And when you scroll up, you will find um, your username and your password uh, around here. I will not scroll up further here because then you will see my password. Okay, but this is only the password for the user. We need to, to find the uh, admin the backend address of this um, particular installation because it's not just admin that does not work okay it will be admin and maybe some some numbers or letters so what we need to do is 
well, basically SSH to our machine and check out where um, the Presta shop is installed. So in order to SSH to our machine to find out our credentials and the installation folder, we will copy the IP address of the machine, open a command prompt and go to the folder where you have um, stored your key file. And then we, on Linux, we have to actually change the access rights to our key file to 400. Um, otherwise it won't work. All right, this should do. And now we can SSH to our machine. We are going to use an SSH minus I because we are going to use that very key file. And the username in our case will be Bitnami because we used that installation. And now we have to paste the IP address. And in, now we will have to accept the fingerprint or uh, basically um, authenticate that host and trust it, which we do because it's our own host. And now we are um, yeah, remote uh, on our machine. And as you can see, there will be a Bitnami credentials file right here, which we can open via our view via cat and in this file we will see what our username is to log in into the back end and the password to log into the back end however we still don't know the actual folder where the back end is installed so this should be sufficient i think by default that administrative folder uh, for presta shop on bitnami instances would be um, something like administration, I guess. Administration. Let's try this out. Okay, that looks good. All right, there you go. And now you can log in with your default user and your password, which is in my case uh, user at example.com and the password we just saw in the uh, command prompt and as we can see we are online all right and now you can start to administer your presta shop um, configuration yeah do all the stuff you want to do and have fun with presta shop